Okay, the screen is visible to all. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So in the last lecture, we seen that for the theorem condition for the multiple rule. Okay, what is the theorem? The polynomial f of x belongs to capital F of x. Okay, that is ring of polynomial has a multiple root if and only if f of x and f dash of x have a non-trivial common factor. Okay, here the meaning of non-trivial is what? The positive degree factor. Okay, that the common factor is of positive degree. Okay, so before we are going to prove this theorem, first in the step number one, we prove one main result. Okay, that using that result, we have to prove the theorem. Okay, now the proof. Okay, now step number one. Okay, look at step number one. Hmm. Before proving the main theorem, proving the main theorem, let us first. Let us first prove an important result. Important result. Okay, which one? Look at here. Start. If the polynomial f of x, okay, and g of x belongs to capital f of x okay that is f of x and g of x are the both are the elements of capital f of x okay now assuming here f is contained in k okay the field f is contained in k that is k is the extension of f and now here if f of x and g of x belongs to the capital f of x have a non trivial common factor non trivial common factor okay. in non trivial common factor in k of x okay both are the polynomial belongs to f of x okay but they have a non trivial common factor in k of x what is k k is an extension of the field f okay look at here where capital k is some extension so extension of the field f then they must have a non trivial common factor in f of x then they must have a non trivial common factor in hmm, capital f of x before going to the blue the main theorem we have to prove this one hmm, what is the statement what is the result if f of x and g of x are the both of the polynomial in capital f of x okay have a non trivial common factor in k of x suppose this one is f and this one is k okay and f of x and g of x are the both the polynomials with coefficient in the field f okay and they have the common factor non trivial common factor that is the factor is of degree positive okay in k of x here in this field where k is some extension of f then they must have the common they must have a non trivial common factor in f of x so k of x mode is a non trivial factor as still so that f of x mode is sudha ka asayla hai non trivial common factor asayla hai okay look at the answer now 
we shall prove this result by contradiction we shall prove this result by contradiction hmm. assuming the wrong statement in some way in the proof we get contradiction okay so we shall prove this result by contradiction suppose okay f of x and g of x suppose f of x and g of x have a non trivial non trivial common factor in k of x okay in k of x but they have no non trivial okay no non trivial common factor in capital f of x okay aplyala prove kay karaycha they have a non trivial common factor in f of x but here we assuming the wrong statement okay what is the wrong statement if f of x and g of x as a non trivial common factor in k of x but they have no non trivial common factor in capital f of x okay if suppose they have no non trivial common factor in f of x this implies manje dogal madhe konta hi common factor nahi hai hmm this means this implies this f of x and g of x these are the two polynomials are what relatively prime elements in f of x okay is it correct hmm yes sir relatively prime elements in capital f of x okay so this implies then there exist two polynomial in a of x and b of x in capital f of x such a that we can write that two polynomial in such that a of x into f of x plus b of x into g of x is equal to Hmm. One. One. Okay. In the number theory, we see that if a and b are the relatively prime number, then we can write a x plus b y is equal to one. Similarly, here, a f of x and g of x, these are the two relatively prime elements in f of x. Then there exists an element a of x and b of x. That is the two polynomial in capital f of x such that we can write a of x into f of x plus b of x into g of x is equal to One. Okay. Give it as equation number one. Now, since F is contained in K, okay, this implies A of X, B of X, F of X, and G of X. These all these are the polynomials can be taken in k of x can all be taken hmm, as polynomial in what k of x okay why because f is contained in k these are the elements from the f of x but f is contained in k it means these all the polynomials belongs to k of x now okay so here all the polynomials this all the polynomials are belongs to k of x so this one implies equation 1 implies f of x and g of x okay are relatively prime elements 
by elements in capital k of x okay we know that if a and b gcd of a and b is equal to 1 that is the relatively prime if pen only if we can write hmm, ax plus by is equal to 1 if ax plus by is equal to 1 then this implies gcd of a and b is equal to 1 okay now here ax plus fx a into f plus b into g is equal to 1 in k of x this implies fx and gx that is f and g are the relatively prime in k of x any doubt up to here no sir okay now note that note that hmm. if f of x and g of x have a common factor have a common factor of positive degree okay this is non trivial factor positive degree then this factor this factor must divides must divides one which is impossible why Look at here. Some say f of x and g of x. Made, hmm. Kya hai? X minus a is the common factor. Hai. Suppose x minus a is the common factor in between f of x and g of x. Now this x minus a divides f of x. This x minus a divides g of x. Okay. This x minus a divides a x into f x. This x minus a divides b x into g x. Okay. Then this x minus a divides the addition of two one. That is a x plus f x plus sorry a x into f x plus b x into g x. Okay, so x minus a kya karein? Ya pura terms la divide karein. Okay, but we have this the value of this one is what one. So x minus a divides one, which is impossible. Why? Because the degree of x minus a is what positive degree. But here the degree of one is what zero. Okay, hence this implies equation one implies f of x and g of x are relatively prime element in k of x. Okay, so this is the reason for the this statement. Okay, any doubt? No, sir. Okay, so thus we get. A contradiction. Hmm. Contradiction. Hence, f of x and g of x must have a non-trivial. Common factor in capital F of x. Okay, इतने का याद है तुम सा? आज statement का imply करते हो f of x and g of x are relatively prime element in k of x. Okay, but here, hmm, what we have? F of x and g of x having non-trivial common factor in k of x. Okay, they yeah, assume kill it, but they have no non-trivial common factor in f of x. Okay, hey, apna assumption kya hai? Wrong hai. Okay, so thus here, look at thus we get the contradiction. Hence, f of x and g of x must have a common factor, non-trivial common factor in what? F of x. Okay, a common factor ha maza f of x madhe asai lag sawa. Okay, any doubt? No no sir, no, okay. sir. Okay. 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 
E has a non-trivial, have a non-trivial common factor in K of X. But it is like F of X and G of X are relatively prime number, millimeters. Okay, which is wrong. It is wrong because we assumed that here they have no non-trivial common factor in F of X. This one is wrong. So this implies they must have the common factor in F of X also. Okay. So this is the step number one. Now using step number one, we have to prove that the main thing. Okay. Step number second. Yata sarte kaya ta word. Jar F madhe. Jar tum ta high F I. Okay. And this one is K. If F of X and G of X is non-trivial factor. Okay. Non-trivial common factor in K of X. They must have a non-trivial factor in F of X. Okay. Now, step number two. Proof of main table. Okay. By the virtue of the result. Okay. By virtue. By the virtue of the result. Okay, just prove the we can assume without loss of generator, without loss of generality. Hmm. That the roots of f of x all lie in capital F. Otherwise, extend this f to capital K. That is the splitting field. Splitting field of f of x belongs to capital f of x okay look at it kai pro kai karaycha apnal theram the polynomial f of x belongs to capital f of x as a multiple root if and only if f of x and f dash of x have a non trivial common factor okay look at it step number 2 by the virtue of the result we proved we can assume that without loss of generality that the root of f of x all lie in f okay f of x che sagle root kasha tahe maja ya f mode okay otherwise the nasti inte kay karav lagel hala that is splitting field karav lagel that is k okay now look at here all roots of okay ha bracket madhe lihal tari chal all roots of f of x lie in f lie in f because the theorem proved in step number 1 step number 1 hmm what is step number 1 f of x and g of x has a non trivial common factor non trivial common factor in capital k of x okay all the roots of f of x is lies in f lie in f because the theorem proved in step number 1 f of x and g of x has a non trivial common factor in k of x this implies they must have a common factor in what f of x they must have a common factor okay non trivial common factor common factor in capital f of x okay this is the result we proved in the step number 1 so that is hmm, the common roots of 
f of x, these two polynomials, and g of x. Okay, a common root of f of x and g of x if it is in k, is in capital K, then it is in f also. Okay, that's the subject I have to say, non-trivial common factor in k of x. This implies non-trivial common factor in f of x. But k is what? Extension of f. Okay, so this means that a common root of f of x and g of x, if it is in k, then if it is in f also. Okay, as a x minus a, amaza k of x madhya se. Okay, common factor f of x and g of x. As statement kai sam to step number one. So this implies x minus a also belongs to what? f of x. And jeha tum sa a kutu ni toye. K modu. This guy that is the common root of f of x and g of x is in k, then it is in f also. Okay, any doubt up to here? No, sir. Okay, no, sir. statement will need luxury. Okay, so now we have to prove the result, part one. Step number two, part one. Only if part. Only if part. Let f of x have a multiple root. Multiple root. Okay. Now we have to prove that f of x and f dash of x have non trivial common factor okay what is the only part because if f of x has a multiple root assume this one and we have to put f of x and f dash of x is it i have a non trivial common factor in the if part we have to assume f of x and f dash of x as a non trivial common factor then we have to prove that f of x has a multiple root. Okay, so in the only part, let assume that f of x have a multiple root. We have to prove that f of x and f dash of x have non-trivial common factor. Okay, let alpha is multiple root. That is multiple root of f of x hmm. of multiplicity small m which is greater than one one okay so this implies so how to root a cell f of x so this implies x minus alpha bracket raised to m is a divisor of f of x okay so this implies we can write f of x is equal to x minus alpha bracket raised to m into some polynomial q of x okay where q of x belongs to capital f of x is it correct yes sir for some q of x okay now, by using previous theorem, hmm, by using previous theorem, what is the previous theorem? You have to find the f dash of x. Therefore, take the derivative of this polynomial. f dash of x is equal to, hmm, find out the derivative. Derivative of first. Okay. And Second term is as it is, plus first term is as it is, derivative of second, q dash of x, so which is equal to m into x minus alpha is to m minus 1 into, this one is q of x, plus x minus alpha bracket is to m into q dash of x, 
this is f dash of x okay f dash of x is equal to now taking the x minus alpha common from this to one okay and jo kai polynomial tela samjha apan matla gamma of x ओके इथे एक टर्म आहे x माइनस अल्फा इथे एक एक टर्म आहे x माइनस अल्फा टेकिंग बी कॉमन x माइनस अल्फा फैक्टर फ्रॉम दिस टू पॉलीनोमियल्स एंड द रिमेनिंग ऑल द टर्म्स वी सेड दैट इज सपोज दैट सम गैमा ऑफ x विद द पॉलीनोमियल ओके व्हाट इज द रीजन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी इन कैपिटल f ऑफ x ओके एनी डाउट no sir so this implies x minus alpha is a factor of f dash of x so thus if x minus alpha okay is common factor of the f of x and a flash of x okay this implies the f of x and the flash of x have a non trivial common factor okay any doubt no sir now the part second step number 2 part second part 2 if part okay now suppose this f of x and the flash of x have a non trivial common factor non trivial common factor we have to prove that hmm f of x has a multiple root okay let us assume the contradiction let us assume the contradiction Hmm. What is the contradiction statement? If f of x has no multiple root, okay, we have to prove that f of x has a multiple root. Okay, but here the proof is using the contradiction statement. We have to prove this one. Okay, f of x has a No, no multiple root now let the root of f of x okay f of x be alpha 1 alpha 2 up to so on alpha n okay where all the alpha i okay alpha i are all distinct ओके एक ही रिपीट झालेला नाहीये तो सगळे वेगवेगळे आहेत डिस्टिंग टाइप ओके ऑल द रूट्स ऑफ f ऑफ x आर डिस्टिंग ओके सो विदाउट लॉस ऑफ जनरलिटी विदाउट लॉस ऑफ जनरलिटी ओके वी कॅन अज्यूम assume that f of x this polynomial f of x to be a monic okay monic polynomial monic manje kay tacha leading coefficient cha leading ha term cha coefficient kiti asel 1 asel okay ani 1 nasel tari kai farak padna nahi jar 1 nasel tar tya element ne apan kay karu shakto divide karun tela monic polynomial karu shakto okay so we can assume that f of x to be a monic then we can write This f of x is equal to product of hmm, x minus alpha one, x minus alpha two up to so on 
x minus alpha n. Is it correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Just the morning lesson that I have only the quantity that is constant. Okay. Just if all these are the roots of f of x. Okay. So f of x is equal to x minus alpha one into x minus alpha two up to so on x minus alpha n. Now find the derivative of f to the f of x. That is f dash of x. What the hell are derivative? Because I don't know. Because don't tell me what's going to happen. You into v will lose. Okay. Okay. The end term side. So hmm, derivative of first is what one, and the remaining term is as it is. X minus alpha two up to so on. X minus alpha n. All the terms is are as it is. Per per se plus second term derivative of second and all the terms are as it is. X minus alpha one. The derivative of x minus alpha two with respect to x is one. Okay. Into x minus alpha two up to so on. X minus alpha n. Okay. Is it correct? Plus up to so on. This is x minus alpha one into x minus alpha two up to so on x minus alpha n minus one n minus n minus. Okay. So this implies a flash of x is equal to summation. I running from one to n, x minus alpha one, x minus alpha two, up to so on, x minus alpha i, bar, up to so on, x minus alpha n. I was just telling you a flash of x in the form of summation, where the bar denotes bar. Denotes that the term is omitted. Is it correct? Yes, sir. Okay, has there been expansion? Kela, kela has done kela i. Ha, i done kela until kai hoi no ja. Ha, f dash of x kai x minus alpha one. Okay, bar hoi. Okay, i is equal to one. So the term will have x minus alpha one bar and hmm, x minus alpha two up to so on x minus alpha n plus. Okay, so I will put kela x is equal to one put kela. So x is x minus alpha one bar in bar is term as it is. Okay, plus x minus that i is equal to two theta is equal. X is equal to alpha one x. Minus alpha two k in bar, okay. Up to so on x minus alpha n plus up to so on. Hmm. Now i is equal to n. So this is x minus alpha one, x minus alpha two up to so on. Hmm. X minus alpha n minus one into x minus alpha n bar. Okay. Now here look at it. Where bar denotes that the term is omitted. Omitted means that the term is not there. Means that what will happen? Cancel. Okay. Atom will cancel. 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 Okay. Any doubt up to here? No, sir. Okay. So where the bar denotes that the term is omitted. एक Okay. 
Now here the bar denotes the the term is omitted. Okay. Now our aim to prove that hmm, what is our claim? Our claim is that hmm, our claim is that no root of f of x is a root of hmm, f dash of x. Okay. That is root of f of x is not a root of f dash of x. Okay. That is we have to prove that. Look at here. We have to prove that f of x has a multiple root. Okay. I, hmm, our claim is that the no root of f of x is the root of f dash of x. Okay. Now, this is the f dash of x. Now, tell me what is the f dash of alpha j. Okay. Which is equal to. Now, instead of x, put here. Sorry. Instead of phi minus alpha j. Sorry, alpha j, alpha i. See, a flash of alpha i is equal to put instead of x here, alpha i. So, what we get? The pi j is not equal to i hmm, alpha i minus alpha j, okay, which is not equal to 0. Why? Since all alpha i okay are so alpha 1 alpha 2 up to so on alpha n are distinct value okay hmm. so here if we put x is equal to alpha i in the equation star okay in this equation number star okay what we get alpha dash of uh, f dash of alpha i is equal to pi j is not equal to k alpha i into alpha j what is the pi no pi is the notation used for the symbol for the multiplication this is our submission la hmm. addition la submission of the okay pi product la use okay okay if we put x is equal to alpha i in equation number star and running the sum over i whenever i is equal to j happens the value of the term hmm. alpha i minus alpha j kai hoi whenever i is equal to j this, this becomes zero okay so therefore hmm. therefore the term where i is not equal to j holds there only the product hmm, take the non-zero value okay this is the explanation okay non-zero value okay pa hmm. put here alpha i okay with alpha i to learn alpha i minus alpha 1 okay 
की ते पाहत आहे किती आहे अल्फा आय इथे काय होईल अल्फा आय मायनस अल्फा टू अल्फा आय मायनस अल्फा एन ओके तर ते काय सांगतो नीट पहा एफ डॅश ऑफ अल्फा आय इज इक्वल टू पाय जे इज नॉट इक्वल टू आय अल्फा आय मायनस अल्फा जे ओके या टर्म मध्ये समजा मी अल्फा वन ठेवलाच नाही ओके त्या पूर्ण एक्सप्रेशन मध्ये समजा मी एक्स च्या ठिकाणी समजा मी अल्फा वन ठेवला तर काय होईल पाहणी लक्ष द्या थोडं कन्सेप्ट थोडं किसकट आहे पण सोप अल्फा डॅश ऑफ एक्स इफ यू पुट अल्फा एक्स इन्स्टेड ऑफ एक्स इज अल्फा वन कोणता टर्म शिल्लक राहील फक्त हाच टर्म राहील माझ्या बाकी सगळे टर्म्स काय होतील हा टर्म माझा झिरो येईल हा टर्म काय होईल झिरो येईल ओके कळते का येस सर येस सर पहा पुन्हा इफ पुट अल्फा टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू अल्फा टू इथे काय होईल हा टर्म झिरो येईल हा टर्म काय येईल नॉन झिरो येईल हा टर्म काय होईल झिरो येईल ओके इफ यू पुट अल्फा एक्स इज इक्वल टू अल्फा थ्री तर काय होईल मला तिसरा टर्म सगळे टर्म झिरो येतील फक्त काय समजा इथला कुठला तरी टर्म नॉन झिरो येईल ओके तेच टर्म लिहिला इथे ओके सो अफ डॅश ऑफ अल्फा आय इज इक्वल टू हा काय प्रोडक्ट ऑफ कोणाच आहे ओके इथे फॉर इफ यू पुट अल्फा एक्स इज इक्वल टू अल्फा वन तर काय होईल हा टर्म सगळे झिरो येतील राहील कोणता टर्म माझ्याकडे दिस टर्म विल बी लिमिट अँड दिस वन इज दिवट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ अल्फा वन मायनस अल्फा टू अल्फा वन मायनस अल्फा थ्री अप टू सो वन अल्फा वन मायनस अल्फा या हाच टर्म शिल्लक आहे तोच कशा फॉर्म मध्ये लिहिलाय मी प्रोडक्ट ऑफ अल्फा वन मायनस अल्फा टू ओके इथं काय आहे आय इज नॉट इक्वल टू जे ओके आता कळते डाऊट ओके सो इफ यू पुट एक्स इज इक्वल टू अल्फा इन स्टार अँड रनिंग दिस सम ओव्हर आय वेन युअर आय इज इक्वल टू जे इट हॅपन्स द व्हॅल्यू ऑफ अल्फा आय मायनस अल्फा जे बिकम झिरो ओके सो देअर फॉर द टर्म वेअर आय इज नॉट इक्वल टू जे होल्ड्स द ओनली द प्रोडक्ट टेक बी नॉन झिरो व्हॅल्यू ओके वन मोर थिंग दिस सिम्बॉल आय इज सिम्बॉल फॉर मल्टिप्लिकेशन ओके हा प्रूफचा पाठ नाही हा तुम्हाला समजण्यासाठी आहे ओके दॅट इज द रूट ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स इज नॉट द रूट ऑफ नॉट द रूट ऑफ एफ डॅश ऑफ एक्स ओके ह्याच्यावरून काय म्हणू शकतो आपण That is the root of f of x is the not the root of f dash of x. Why? Hmm. What are the roots of f of x? Alpha one, alpha two, up to so on, alpha y. Yeah. Okay. How root? What is it? F of x. That is f of alpha one is equal to zero. Hmm. What is f dash of alpha one? But what is the root of the root? Zero. Zero. And so you have to take zero here. If you put this here, alpha 1, if dash of alpha 1 kaya huil maza ite, hard term maza kaya hii, non-zero hii. Baki sa zero yudhi chali maza kaya. Okay, karan ki te alpha 1 ahe, alpha 1 ahe. But, but overall, if dash of x is what? Not equal to, similarly, uh, not equal to zero. Similarly, if f of alpha 2 is equal to zero, but f of, if dash of alpha 2 is not equal to zero. This means, f of x okay the root of f of x is the not the root of f dash of x okay any doubt up to here no sir hmm. but this implies f of x and f dash of x f of x and f dash of x have no common factor no common root first okay so this implies f of x and 
the flash of x have no non trivial common factor is it correct yes sir which is contradiction why why we get contradiction because we assume the wrong statement okay which one we get here here we assumed that p hmm, suppose if and if a flash of x has a non trivial common factor okay but here we get the f of x and a flash of x have a non trivial common factor okay here we get f of x and a flash of x as have no non trivial common factor why why we get this one because we are assuming the wrong statement which one f of x let us assume the contradiction okay because of this one f of x has a no multiple root this statement is what wrong okay hence our assumption is wrong which is contradiction hence our assumption is wrong okay what is assumption hmm f of x has of no x multiple roots has no multiple root hmm is wrong okay so this implies f of x must have a multiple root okay so that is alpha 1 alpha 2 up to so on alpha n cannot be distinct okay distinct and some root is repeated okay any doubt no sir okay half statement samajhna mahatva hai Hmm. We may take for f of x that line. This one is the f of x. This one is the f dash of x. Okay. So now let's see. This one is the f dash of x. Hmm. What is f dash of alpha one? F dash of alpha one. That get lah. That kya hoil maza? R term non zero. F dash of alpha two get lah. That kya hoil? R term non zero because it is alpha 2 nahi hai okay baki jo sagar sagar term zero hai but ha non zero hai. overall f dash of alpha 1 f dash of alpha 2 up to f dash of alpha n all are non zero but alpha 1 alpha 2 up to so on alpha n are the roots of f of x so this implies f of x and f dash of x have no common root okay not the root of f dash of x no common root This implies f of x and f dash of x have no non-trivial common factor, which is contradiction. Why? Because we first assume that f of x and f dash of x has a common uh, non-trivial common factor. Hence, our assumption is wrong. That is, f of x has a no multiple root. Is this this statement is wrong? So we must have f of x as a multiple root. Okay. Any doubt? no sir okay now the next proof uh, next theorem is next theorem. if f of x belongs to capital f of x okay each is irreducible is irreducible then first f of x sorry okay if characteristic of capital f is zero 
then if the characteristic of capital f okay then the field is zero then f of x has no multiple root no multiple root and the second one is if the characteristic of capital f is p which is not equal to zero okay finite then f of x has multiple root only if it is of the form if it is only if it is of the form f of x is equal to g of x raised to p okay for some g of x belongs to capital f of x okay so this is the statement of the theorem if capital s f of x be the any polynomial belongs to capital f of x and it is irreducible in capital f of x if the characteristic of f is zero then f of x hmm, have a has a no multiple root if the characteristic of capital f is p which is not equal to zero then f of x has a multiple root and only if it is of the form f of x is equal to g of x raised to p that's what I'll take a take punta variable x raised to p a form of the page okay for some g of x belongs to capital f of x okay any doubt in the statement no sir okay the proof of this theorem we will see tomorrow okay not tomorrow on thursday okay for today it is sufficient now any doubt up to here no sir no sir okay wait a minute okay so thank you for the attending the lecture you can leave now okay Thank you.